Well, today I think I'm gonna show you my elevator parts collection because it was a really long time I did it last time. And since then, yeah, just increased. This is just a few of the They've been very dirty lately. Where's the Asia Graham coil fixer? It comes with this button and this one behind it. Unfortunately, I have no light to light this thing up with. So this is the core thing of this fixture. Focus. Actually, why not trying this one? So this is what it looks like inside. I have no idea if the light fixer actually does work. But in this one, can place the coil fixture here. You can push it like this. There should be two more light fixtures here on each side. I'm actually missing a ring on this one. Let's see, keep there. And it will look something like this. When it works, it doesn't seem to work so well. So this is the call button, and this indicates which alloy it is here. If the small one or the big one is here. I got it from a friend, or I actually buy it from a friend in Jotobori last year. Very nice. Let's put it back into the collection. On the window, right next to the window. Next to it, there's the little diode. That I keep. It is a D call fix. It's a small part of from the a D call fixture from Stockholm Central Station. This summer, I was uh, or this spring actually. This was something left from a call fixture that I was meant to give to Alexander, but he didn't take this piece of it, so I took it instead. I have the rest of the coil fixer too. This is something I put up so myself. The coil button, very simple coil button. From different parts of the elevators in Stockholm Central. It says coal and open in one. And this is who it looks behind. Let's get that light to use. So it looks like this. And if you push it, it looks like this. So from a bad viewing. Is from the other side. I will show you something cool here. The lights. This is the only way I can light up the lights. So that is my proudest coal fixture. I have some elevator on the maintenance signs 
a lot of them actually. Here is an old disco button and a machine button. It was from Järdet subway station before it got completely replaced several months last year. Both sides up. The call button isn't in very good condition anymore. Let's find out that lamp here. It looks like this. Generic core button. With the same kind of light bulb as the Seagram button. Next, I have some. This one is meant to be given to my dear friend, Johan. But he forgot it here, so I have it here in the meantime until he came back to Stockholm next time and collect it. I also got this from Gabriel. To believe them. It's a sign telling sign for a switch to turn on or turn off the elevator. It also says in case of danger press the button here. They used to always be in the ground floor of all the elevators. Here are only lanterns for the Kuna elevator. 70s Kuna elevator. Nothing special about that. But actually, look at this. I can get to have the core fixer in these. They have the same kind of core fixer. Let's try light this one up, by the way. Looks like this. If you also light up the arrows, it looks like this. Very cool, huh? Another very cool part I've got is from a friend over, fin over to Finland. Windal 20. I got this one so, saying capacity is three persons or 240 kilograms. Also says people under the age of 12 is not recommended to use the elevator alone. Also got this button panel from me. It is very heavy. It's from his own apartment, by the way. It's, it was originally built in 1963, but has been modernized in 2012. I stop and alarm buttons written in Finnish. Let's take up the screws here and see what's inside. Wait for a moment. Here, here we go. This is also who, who it all looks inside the core buttons. It's very old, this thing. 
the fixture share are stuck on their positions. Looks like this. You must screw that part to get into the core part of this. So you can get so you can replace the button so easily. And that is all I have to show for my uh, from over there. But I have actually more fixtures on my collection hidden down here. Let's show them all. On those, just need to use my both hands to lift this thing up. Here I have something real big. I think it's the biggest panel in my collection. From Gothenburg together with the Asia Graham call fixture. It's cool. Eight is fixtures used to replace an older Asia Graham fixture on the same elevator, which is now being modernized. And this is how it looks like inside. It's where I have a panel for that. Try to open up one of these. Looks like this something. Same junior core button as the Otis core button. This is how this one looks like. Put this one back. Somehow. Sorry. Here. Wait a second. There we go. And this one in here. Let's try to put out number twelve. Here's the light. Itself, it's a small dyad. When this one originally came, the ground floor was here and the basement was above the ground floor. Since then, I replaced these two buttons. So, that was the big Kuhn panel from Gothenburg. Or awesome. Next, I have some generic buttons. Here's a fan button. Turning on the fan while pressing this one. And then stop button. Here's some core buttons to DMG. You know that round fixture that is used a lot in Sweden. Here's a square DMG. Very rare. But should be more common. Here's another Otis core button and core button. And here is the floor indicator. I don't know which color it lights up because I never tried this one. Here's some fixer I got from Kuna. From Kuna themselves, actually. Where? Cool fixer. And another one of those generics. That's your 
the old that above it. I have div buttons. The light works with this one. And here I have some more DM geek. Among other D fixtures shattered in pieces. One and two. Really cool. That's a D panel I got from Johan. My first one actually. Or not really my first one, but I tried it on one one away with this one. Behind it we have the latest panel from to my collection. It was saved from Hidden in Bolness. Really cool. I like these buttons, they're flat. D fixtures. However, the overweight indicator. The light as well as the buzzer. This is how the buzzer looks like. And here, here's the special stop button together with the alarm button. Really cool panel. Together with all the deep parts shattered in pieces. Another part of my elevator parts collection is down here. It's a small pieces of dirty deep stuff. Nothing very special about it. But here they are very dirty. Some of them are empty. And some of them do actually have core fixer. Like this micro switch. I have always two fixer each. So this is who they look like. I have some of these buttons. A down button. It is now called floor one of the new elevator. And here's the buzzer. I don't know if it works or not. Up here we have some electronics. A big bag of electronic stuff uh, Here we have some cables I got from school and bought at the shop Nothing much But I enough much to get some fixes to work when I get some device to make them work. Here's the components for the elevator fixtures. It's the light bulb core. There's two variants. One with two bulbs and one with only one bulb. They have more buzzer also. Cold buzzer. Have also these. I like them very much. There should be some of the other kind. Somewhere inside this bag. Here it is. I really like this. Um Another bus around there. Nothing special about that. And what do we have here? We have the mic switch inside this bag. Here's one. Also, some cables to the mic switches. There's 
the stop button core switch. If we get the lights into it, looks like this. If we press it, we will release the circuit, which makes the elevator stops immediately if that happens. I'll show you something more here. Here we have one of the two key switches. This is actually a brand new fixture that was supposed to be used in an ALT elevator. But it never got used. Instead it got one of the div key switches that were used. So this one is unused and brand new and I got it. Now we have the technical install from Sahara. Here's another keyhole, it's actually a used one. You should see its key switches inside here as well. The only thing I need is a key core, and then they are perfect. Oops, drop my flashlight here. So that is how they look like. Now I want to show the coolest part of my collection. A brand new, not so that brand new, but one year old director from Fabric digital elevator control computer. It's a generic one and PDAL S3 controller from 2011. I didn't get an ordinary cable, so I have to made up one myself. But I got these cables, so I can connect this controller system with any kind of fixture I like. Like for the fixtures in this box. Now let's put it up from its bag and then I want to demonstrate it for you manual operations manuals of this controller is available at PDAS website to be downloaded both in Swedish as well as in English I have some manuals downloaded and printed out actually so I can actually, with use of these manuals, program this controller and its buttons and make this work like an action elevator. I got this one for free from Gothenburg because they really did like my elevating photography. Put this one in here. 400 volt AC and this one does work with normal electricity but we'll get an error message from it and well but it does work <laughs> and then I put the other one over here and voila This is how it looks like. I think the time went wrong here. You navigate with the buttons and you press so using enter here. So that is really nice. Another thing that I can get light up using the electricity is this div call button with us which I wired up myself the bulb does work it was original from the 60s and it has been turned down sometimes in the 90s and then stayed like that so, but so light the bulb haven't been lighted up for many many years but I have tried that 
it out and it does work. It does work very good actually. Putting this one in here and here we go. Now be careful when you wiring up your elevator parts and connect it like this. It can be very very dangerous. So I do not touch this panel when it's wired up and the light. So. Oh yeah, this one is an electricity can. It can react when I touch it like this. So I can look after arrows. That is very nice. I got it as my birthday present. I will find it very useful. Here's the core core fixer. Very nice one. Pull these ones off from the core and put them back to where they belong to. This one should be hidden in here. I also use it to light it up usually, but it works very fine when I do. So this is my part of the big elevator part collection, which is very nice, and that's it.